Hello everyone and welcome to the channel and here's Google Apps updates roundup number 68 and in this episode I'm going to share with you 24 new features in multiple Google Apps so without further ado let's jump in. Let's start with YouTube and it got a couple of new features the first one is in the home feed. When the video starts to auto play you will see a seek bar at the bottom so you can navigate the video without the need to open it by dragging your finger over the seek bar like this. The second change is in the comments section. Let's say you want to comment on this video when you tap on the text box. Now you will get a button here that will allow you to add the current timestamp without the need to type it manually. So that's pretty much it with YouTube. Now let's move on to YouTube music and it got only one small change which is the new design for the thumbnail of the your likes playlist and this is how it looks now. Next Google messages. And it got a couple of new features. The first one is the support for the end-to-end -end encryption for the group messages. So as you see here, I created a test group and I have that banner that says that end-to-end -end encryption is activated. The second new change is the red receipts will now appear in the conversations list. Next, Gboard. And it got a handy new feature that will allow you to scan payment cards using your phone's camera. So as an example, here's Amazon app and I'm gonna try to add a new payment card. And when I tap on the card number box, now I'm getting a suggestion here says scan a new card. Tapping on it will open the phone's camera so you can scan the card from this area. And you also have the ability to use the flash or not. But it's still using the old Google Pay branding instead of using Google Wallet. I'm not sure why. On top of this, you also have another button that will allow you to pick one of the cards you already have or scan a new card from here as well. The next app we have is Chrome Canary, which is the beta version of Google Chrome, and it got two new features. The first one is the redesigned share sheet, which is the share sheet of Android 14 that we should expect in the future. Now when you share the link, you will get a big banner in the center showing the link and also the fave icon of the website with the options at the top and the suggested apps and contacts at the bottom. For reference, here is how the old share sheet looks like in Google Chrome. So it's totally different now in Chrome Canary. The second change is the redesigned following tab in the home page. This tab will allow you to follow certain websites and get updates about the new articles as soon as they get published. And at the bottom here, it will give you some suggestions. So you can tap on follow. And once you do this, you will get updated. Tapping on refresh. So here, here is a new update section that will show you the new articles from this website. And if you want to follow any website yourself, you can simply open the link and you will see a follow button over here or under the ellipses as well at the bottom. Next, Google Photos. And it got two new small visual tweaks. The first one is in memories. If the memory has music and the sound is muted, the icon is now animated instead of being static like before. The second change is in Google Lens. When you start the feature from Google Photos, you will see a new button at the bottom right corner with a magnifying glass. Tapping on it will take you to the photo search results in google.com. Talking about Google Lens and it got a new icon that you will only see in the beta versions of Google Apps like Chrome Canary, for example. This is the new design. And also when you open the Google app, you will see the same thing. And for reference, here is how the old design looks like. Now let's move on to Google app and it got multiple tweaks. The first one is the material you overlay profile picker menu that Google started to roll out to multiple apps. And I will show you more later in this video. The second change is the redesigned settings page that also supports material you. I talked about this page before, but for some reason it has been removed and now it's back again with the latest update. And finally, when you tap and hold on the Google search widget, if you are using a Pixel phone and then tap on preference, it will take you right away to the Google app settings page. And instead of showing you only one toggle at the top to activate the animations, but now it will take you to the full settings page of Google app. Google Home also got a new feature that will allow you to reorder your favorite smart devices on the home page by tapping on the reorder button here at the bottom. And when you do this, you can now drag and drop the tiles the way you want and then hit save. Previously, we used to have only the edit button that will allow you to uh, add or remove any of the controls, but now you can reorder them as well. Next, Google Contacts. 
and now it has a new section under the highlights tab called for you and this section will show you the upcoming birthdays of your contacts few days before the date comes and it will give you two suggestions either to call or text next the material you profile picker menu started to roll out to more apps as i mentioned before and i have more examples the first one is google photos and the second one is the google play store now let's talk about the pixel watch and i started to see some material u icons for some apps for example when you take a look here at find my phone you will see a material u icon scroll down a bit the flashlight got it as well then we have media controls and finally the settings app and finally let me show you a new exclusive feature to pixel users when you try to customize the at a glance widget and then tap the gear icon scroll down now you'll see a new toggle called ride sharing and the description says show the status of your ride this is similar to the live activities feature of ios 16 that will give you updates on your lock screen when you book an uber or a lyft ride i'm not sure if it works with the same services or not but once i make sure i will keep you updated in my future videos so that's pretty much it for today those are all the new features i wanted to show you and if you spotted any new feature in google apps please let me know in the comments or reach me out on social media but for now thanks so much for watching and see you the next video